Hello and welcome back to our channel where we talk about all things related to EKG analysis. Today, we're going to be discussing potentially lethal rhythms of EKGs. An EKG, or electrocardiogram, is an important tool for diagnosing heart conditions and assessing heart health. EKGs can detect abnormal rhythms that can be life-threatening if not treated promptly. So, let's take a closer look at these rhythms and learn how to identify them. As a healthcare provider, my top priority is to ensure that my patients receive the best care possible. And when it comes to their heart health, early detection and monitoring are key. That's why I highly recommend the CardioMobile Portable EKG device to my patients. It's a small, easy-to-use device that attaches to a smartphone and can give accurate EKG readings in just 30 seconds. With the CardioMobile device, my patients can take EKG readings anytime, anywhere, and send them directly to me for review. This allows me to monitor their heart health remotely and make informed decisions about their care. As a healthcare provider, I believe that the CardioMobile device is an essential tool for managing heart health. It's portable, easy to use, and provides accurate readings that can help me make informed decisions about my patient's care. If you're looking for a reliable and convenient way to monitor your patient's heart health, click on the link in the description below. The first potentially lethal rhythm we're going to discuss is ventricular tachycardia. This is a fast, abnormal rhythm that originates in the ventricles, the lower chambers of the heart. Ventricular tachycardia can cause the heart to beat so rapidly that it can't pump blood effectively. This can lead to fainting, chest pain, and even sudden cardiac arrest. On an EKG, ventricular tachycardia looks like a series of wide QRS complexes with no discernible P waves. If you see this pattern, immediate intervention is warranted. The second potentially lethal rhythm is ventricular fibrillation. This is a chaotic, disorganized rhythm that occurs when the ventricles quiver instead of contracting normally. Ventricular fibrillation can cause the heart to stop pumping blood altogether, leading to sudden cardiac arrest. On an EKG, ventricular fibrillation looks like a chaotic, irregular pattern with no discernible P waves or QRS complexes. If you see this pattern, it's a rhythm you should call a code or 911. The third potentially lethal rhythm is torsades to points. This is a specific type of ventricular tachycardia that is characterized by a twisting of the QRS complex around the baseline. Torsades to points can cause fainting, chest pain, and sudden cardiac arrest. It can be caused by certain medications or electrolyte imbalances, such as low levels of potassium or magnesium. On an EKG, torsades to points looks like a series of QRS complexes that twist around the baseline. If you see this pattern, it requires immediate intervention. The fourth potentially lethal rhythm is asystole, which is a complete absence of electrical activity in the heart. It is often seen in people with advanced heart disease or those who have suffered a myocardial infarction. Symptoms may include sudden collapse and loss of consciousness. Immediate treatment is required with cardiopulmonary resuscitation or CPR, along with the administration of epinephrine and other medications. Defibrillation may not be effective for this rhythm. And the fifth potentially lethal rhythm is third-degree heart block, also known as complete heart block, is a type of cardiac conduction disorder in which there is no transmission of electrical impulses from the atria to the ventricles, causing them to beat independently of each other. The atria and ventricles are paced by separate electrical systems. This rhythm requires immediate intervention with a temporary transcutaneous or transvenous pacing and medications. This would be followed by a permanent pacemaker placement. So those are the five potentially lethal rhythms of EKG, ventricular tachycardia, ventricular fibrillation, torsades to points, asystole, and third-degree heart block. While these rhythms can be scary, it's important to remember that prompt intervention can save lives. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and hit the like button, so you can get the latest EKG analysis videos.